Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están todos? And we are here right now. Thank you for being in touch. I'm being sick, you know, this is my comeback. Happy 2020 to everyone. I still have my sexy voice <laughs> from that flu that I had that I catch. That was Anna's fault. <laughs> that was Anna's fault. I'm kidding. I know everybody has this these days, you know. So we are back in 2020. Happy New Year. And we have a very special guest tonight. She's a very special woman and I love her a lot. She's, we're going to talk about the beauty of art. You know, our program is called Beyond Beauty. And what we have every um, time that we are together is that we talk with women, entrepreneur women who are beautiful, but they are beyond beauty. You know, they go beyond beauty. What is beyond beauty? It means that they have something beautiful to show, not only her makeup, not only her body, not only the hair or everything they wear that make them beautiful from the outside, but they have something else to show us. So that's gonna be Gina Anki. She's been in the theatrical industry for 40 years, more than 40 years. So she have a lot to tell us. We have, to, we have a lot to learn from her. She's already here. How are you, my love? I'm here. <laughs> so she will be with us in minutes. So come back after commercials. See you then. Invitamos a todos nuestros servicios que tenemos como manicure, pedicure, corte de cabello, color, patch reduction como creolipolisis cavitación y mucho más que podemos ayudarte con tus eventos especiales. Si quieres lucir espectacular en tu fiesta favorita, Be Unique. Extensiones de pestañas, tenemos microblading, tenemos lifting de pestañas eh, y bueno, muchas cosas más que podemos ofrecerles para tus ocasiones especiales. En Bionic no solo contamos con los mejores servicios, sino que también contamos con los mejores productos, tales como eh, la línea Casmara de España y la línea de Diego Dalla Palma de Italia. Todos para cubrir las necesidades de tu piel. Los esperamos en Bionic. And we're back. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around because she's here right now. Hi, Gina. Hi, how are you? Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy New Year. Yes. Lovely to see you. Yes. It's very nice to have you over here. Well, thank you. It's, As it's a, a special guest. It's a real pleasure, Paula. <laughs> you know, I always love having our little moments together where we can I know. talk about really positive things that are happening in the world. So exactly. thank you so, so very much. I really love about you that you're very resilient. And this is a world that I learned from you. Thank because you. no matter what happened in life, she's a woman that she always <laughs> come out with something <laughs> yes. to overcome difficulties, you know, because life is like that, you know? It it's is. like it's... an up and down thing. It is, and you know, the performing arts sector is, it's, 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 you know, sometimes it's black, sometimes it's white, it's uh, sometimes uh, you miss the mark with the right population, things change, uh, things evolve, but you know, you, it, it's all about problem solving and just finding a new positive solution and reaching I love that. as many I love people that as you about can. You. So as you know, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our program. This, okay. this program is called Beyond Beauty. Right. And I invited you because you're not only pretty, but a smart woman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very strong. I really, really admire that. Thank you. Gina. And Thank that you. is why she's here, you know, because she got that beyond beauty, right? Because we're going to talk about the beauty of the theater mm -hmm. life, the art, you know, performing art. And she got more than 40 years. So I got in my notes that you have more than 40 years. I know. And I'm only 29. Imagine. Do the math. <laughs> 
she's only 29 and she had 40 years teaching, guiding artists through, you know, these challenges of being an artist. So can you tell us a little bit about that, you know? Absolutely, absolutely, and being in the performing arts. I mean, this goes back so many years. Um, but I, but I, you're 29. Yes, but I've... <laughs> No, I've, I've always had a passion for the performing arts and nice. um, I guess that I was very fortunate at a very young age I actually had the opportunity to work with young children at the age of That's 13 so good. and it just it opened the doors it opened the doors to so many new opportunities and 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 for myself on a personal level um, it was all about building my self-confidence self-esteem mm -hmm. empowerment uh, and just giving myself and others a voice and I, I feel that that's that's really really important so we can tell arts. that the performing arts brings to your life not only the art part but something that is going to enreach your own life absolutely this is what you think it was yeah my thought process at that time when I was studying and, and you know and I, I, I had I, I I was so fortunate to have been able to work with so many different artists and professors, mm. and um, it, not only in Toronto and Canada, but also in Europe. I got these in my notes. She was in England, <laughs> London, England. She yes. was, you know, University of Drama Therapy. Mm -hmm. So this is very, like, to me, it calls my attention, but it's a drama therapy. Yes. Listen drama to that. What is that? Therapy. therapy. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, it's, so because it's, every artist, let's say, let's say something funny. Mm -hmm. People said, "Oh, all the artists they are so crazy. They need to be crazy." And I said, "I'm a makeup artist, mm -hmm. and I consider myself I have to be a little bit crazy to be in this world, and that's not bad at all." It's a great thing. It's, not <laughs> it's called thinking right? outside the box. Exactly. It's coming up with new and exciting ideas, and yeah, I mean, the drama therapy was. Um, what is Drama therapy. Drama therapy is 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 actually um, it's a creative medium. So you use drama as a creative me medium to uh, to work with channel with and sort of it's like a it's a positive channel, but a safe channel for children to express themselves in a safe environment where they can expose um, experiences or feelings or things that, that they have conflict with. Oh, and wow. so we, we, we communicate with them through drama games, exercises. Um, we work with fictitious characters, role playing. And the outcome of it is um, they have a safety net to communicate and express themselves. Wow. Um, and, you know, we, we, we would work through, you know, drama and, and movement and music and, um, and drawing. And then we have, a, you know, big discussion and closure at the end of every session where it's, it's, uh, it's open-ended and safe for them to, to talk about their feelings. And I just think that's, that's something that we should have everywhere, really. That's I mean, true. You know, so that is why you create this uh, academy called CAT, yes. which is Children's. Arts, Art theater school. theater school. Yes. So I want you to talk about that because this is amazing. You are mentioning kids in this thing. Yes. I mean, kids so have been my life, Paula. Your life. They I have. Know. And, and I had the opportunity to work with cats. Yes, you did. And I know the crew. And you know something that it calls my attention and it really um, impressed me mm -hmm. a lot is that these people have been working with you for so long, that means a lot. That means that they love that, not only that, mm -hmm. but that you have something. Absolutely. Something that people like to be around you. Because you know many companies, especially in this theatrical oh, yes. world, performing yes. arts, they change a lot. There is a rotation. The turnover is the Turnover is, is, is crazy. huge. Yeah. And I see because sometimes as a makeup artist, I have to work with different mm. companies, Absolutely. right? So, but every time that I go to Cats, <laughs> yeah. I see them and I'm like, oh my God, you're still here. <laughs> I know. You know, Mark it's and all the girls and they're like, oh yeah, because I love here. And I'm like, oh my God, you must love this. You must love kids, mm -hmm. love the work, mm -hmm. and you must love Gina, of course. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, no, because I, you if know, you don't like your boss, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't I like feel boss, so lucky, uh, really. I mean, I... I mean, I've had the same staff for, for, for close for to... For a long year, 25, 25 plus, years. 25 years. Mark, They've never been anywhere. Never. never. And they never <laughs> change it. 
I was talking to the other guy, the, the skinny one with uh, dark hair. What's his oh, name? Not I Mark forgot. Keller. No, Keller. Keller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Mark he Keller. Said, oh, yes. no. I have like almost 10 years. I'm like, oh my God, I, I met you when you were super young. Yes. He was like a little yeah, teenager I know. I working know. here. And he's like, and I will never live here. <laughs> But you know what? That's what he told me. We're and I'm family. like, oh my God. Yeah. We're family and we really care about the school. We care about our students. We care about the parents. Um, and we just, you know, we work so hard to create that magical experience I for them. I see that. And this is my point here when I said beyond beauty. Because this is the beauty of loving people. Yes. Loving what you love, what you doing right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Loving art, yeah. loving those kids. Mm -hmm. This is more than beauty, right? Because I do, I, I work doing makeup, but it's more than that. It when is. When I do this makeup for these little kids, it's amazing how they feel. It's amazing it's how they're like. The it's transformation. The transformation. So they powerful. think that they are the character. And Absolutely. I do. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, That's amazing. They, 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 the love that they put in their job. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, Gina. Well, so I have to you. congratulate you because it's a hard work, but you... It is, but the rewards are, they're immeasurable. They really, really are. And I just, I feel, I'm so fortunate and so lucky. You are. And, and happy that I, <clears throat> I get to do what I do. And, you know, for me, it's also about... Um, embracing other young artists as well so it's, yeah it's, i have is, that in my notes it's not like just me it's uh -huh. about it's about the community it's about involving the community it's about um you know welcoming young and new innovative artists who really want to put their own stamp on something directors artists dance teachers art teachers um, and that's that's so so important to me because i didn't have that opportunity when i oh, was wow. younger and that was one of my main um, my my main focal points was to really open the doors to to rising teachers and artists uh -huh. and educators and really really give them an opportunity. So you mean you support, for example, public schools, um, private schools Absolutely. in this area? Absolutely. How's your guidance in this area? How do you go? How do you just connect with them and what do you offer? Well, with Children's Arts Theatre School, it's 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 word of mouth. It's networking. I mean, we've been around for so many years, and we have such a strong reputation and mandate for uh, following through in everything that we say we can do, which is the magic of, of musical theatre. And, um, and embracing everyone's um, strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, you, you never know what you're going to get on any given performance. <laughs> I know. And, you know, but it's about the experience. It's not about the perfect performance. It's about the experience. It's all about how you handle the situation. Absolutely. And it's about life, too. This is the yes. same thing that happens in life. When you've got those things that you're like, oh, my God, is this happening to me? Yeah. But how you react to it. It's the same thing when you are performing right it is like oops <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oops and, but come back and life and is not good. perfect and there and are going to be a lot of imperfections and there are going to be problems and there are going to be conflicts always and things aren't going to be exactly the way you'd like them to be but or you the work way with you it. plan exactly mm -hmm. and it's the spontaneity it's snapping back it's uh, working with your actors, it's supporting your actors on stage when they forget a line. Um, wow. It's lighting that may not go up when it's supposed to go up. <laughs> um, it's a number many of things. Many flaws, right? Uh, many flaws, but you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's it's such a huge accomplishment. Um, and that's what gives us um, our power. That's what gives us our it. strength is knowing I that we've... It empowered so many young adults and so many young children and and they love it this is amazing you must be doing something right gina and i said that because honestly in so many years if the parents recommend other parents your school is because something when it's going on right i'm not yes. going to recommend another parent to take their kids to where my kids are taking mm -hmm. classes if it's not good Right. Well, absolutely. Absolutely, you're doing something right. Well, thank because you. otherwise, it will be disappearing. You know, like everything these yes. days. Yes. It's like a yes. cycle of they do something good and then disappear mm -hmm. for some reason. And I see this these uh, these days that if you don't have a strong model or strong values or strong, you know, family and inside of the solid company, foundation. solid foundations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything the tendency is to disappear. Yes. Very fast. Yes. Very fast. And like you said, word of mouth. 
It's very important. Word Network. of mouth, it, networking, meeting people, uh, exchanging ideas. It works ideas. better. Sometimes it works better mm -hmm. than publicity or advertising. And social, yeah, just all it the depends. social media platforms. I mean, it helps. It helps. It's, it's, it creates a great, strong presence. Oh, yeah. But it's... It's 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 word of mouth. It's it's happiness that you that you transcend to so many young adults and parents, and then they just want to keep coming back for more and more. And <laughs> that's yeah, so good. Great. Awesome, Gina. I love it. Thanks. So I want we I was with Gina. That was for October. And, yes. Uh, at Global News. Yes. We're not doing commercials here for any other channel, but <laughs> but the thing yeah. is, Gina has the biggest store with yes. the most amazing costumes you need to visit the store can you tell yes, people absolutely. the address absolutely. of the theatrix costume house yes. and tell us a little bit about why you decided because i know sometimes ha accidents happens and you say like oh my god maybe i want maybe not but you acquire that no. and you said okay this is it flaws ups and downs and always you know something mm -hmm. to deal with but you're there and you're still there. I I'm remember. I'm there and oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't know how I'm still there, but I am because I'm so passionate about it. And, you know, costuming um, and tangible costuming, costuming that's his, that is historical, costuming that has a story to it, um, it really lends itself to where where things are moving in our society today, for example. Um, as you know, example, for example, with online purchases and things that you just That's wear true. once and throw away. Everything now is about being eco-friendly eco and reusing things. Um, but it's not just things. These are these are turn-of-the-century costuming um, that has been in our inventory stock up since 1965. Oh my so God. No, you need to visit the store. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my God. No, Anna, we need to visit the store. Yes. She got amazing costumes Thanks. since when? 1965. Wow. Pieces from 1965. Yes. Wow. So, so nice. like very historical, very, you know, with yes. meaning, mm -hmm. very yes. nice costumes. Wow. And it's a huge inventory that she has. It's we amazing. We have hundreds and thousands of beautiful quality costuming. Um, anything from, you know, the uh, Roman and Egyptian era, medieval, renaissance, early and late Victorian. Um, then we move into uh, 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. You are in the perfect time, Gina, because these eco-friendly, eco-friendly things are, is the thing. You, you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So people now are avoiding stores where everything is plastic, everything is, you know, that you have to dispose of and it's plastic. You are hurting the planet with all those yes, things. Yes. But what happens if you go to theatrix costume houses that you rent? your costume and you return it yes. and they do the laundry so you yes. don't need to throw anything in the garbage you don't need to yep. uh, collect anything you don't have to do anything they do it for you so this is eco-friendly so my friends if you have mm -hmm. a party it doesn't have to be halloween right it doesn't oh, have to be halloween. 12 months of the year 12 months of the year so if you have for example your birthday it's coming. You want to have a theme. Event, a corporate event. Corporate fund event. Raising. Fundraising for the gala, Anna. For the for uh, the foundation gala. Yes. We can have a 2020. You know, this is the 20s. Absolutely. And everybody is bringing the 20s to 2020. Absolutely. So. Too many 20s. Lots yeah. of 20s. <laughs> a lot of 20s. But, you know, 1920s you know, coming to the 20s. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Our costuming is, is, is made with quality material. Uh, we do alterations in-house. Everything is washed and steamed. It's beautifully bagged, and it, it we really we really give everyone that that boutique experience. And they leave think, thinking and feeling, wow, I'm I'm feeling very empowered again. I'm feeling very special. Beauty. This is beyond beauty. You, know? you see why? Because what she mentioned right now, Gina said, if you don't, if you have no idea what you're gonna do, what is your custom? What are you gonna mm -hmm. do? They have styling people. So people, you go there. They find your pieces, accessories, the wigs or whatever you need. So they put every piece together and you're going to end up with a whole amazing look for your special yes. event. Yes. Is that yes. it? That's the, it is. And we work with uh, private schools. We have hundreds and hundreds of musical shows that we can outfit as well. We have a custom build department. 
we do bridal wear, we do dance wear, we can build, well, just, just actually, this is, this is amazing, but we had, um, uh, we, we built two, two-headed camels and donkeys and sheep for nativity. Oh um, my God. Uh, just before the holidays. So we do, do soft you have mascots. Pictures? Um, around summer, I'd have to find them and send that to you because they kind of ran away. They were so excited with their costuming. They, <laughs> you see, so think about it. So Theatrix Costume House, they have your costume. Where? It is where? Where are we located? We're located at 61 Elm Grove Avenue. That's Queen and Queen. Dufferin. Queen and Dufferin. We're right in the heart of Par the Parkdale community. We're pretty easy to find. We're open six days a week, Tuesday through Saturday, and our hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and we'd love to see you. Yes, we'd love to see you there. You know what? I visit, when I visit your store, it's very nice to feel the environment, and especially the guy that you have. What's his name? Oh, we have David. 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 And the one who said the maker. Centric. Part of eccentric. Me. He is very eccentric. <laughs> he's 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 he. I I, I couldn't imagine. Uh, I love it. No, uh, the, my point here is that David is the the, the old guy. Yes, yes. When you go there, this is kind of an attraction. This is a, is a positive point to me because he's working in an environment of costumes, but he's a character himself. Yes, he is. He's a character himself. And it's very enjoyable to see him. Yes. The way he dressed up, the way he, he wears speaks, a different outfit every the beer, day. <laughs> the beard he has, yes. very long. Yes. He looks very, you know, back in the, mm -hmm. which era? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'd probably put him in the 1920s era. He really, really enjoys era. that era. He is yes. a character. Honestly, I should have a picture. Yeah, he's so amazing. people could see. Only just to visit him, it will be amazing. Because he, he the, the way he dressed up, oh my God. I know. It's, it's <laughs> But everybody, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's like one massive closet that never goes away and it never gets tidy. <laughs> and then when things just get so intense... When people are about to lose it, this is the best part of all. Everybody will grab a hat, a sailor hat, a 1920s and have fun. hat, Come a helmet, on. and they're like, okay, let's get this going. We've got to get this show out. We've got to get these costumes together. And let's have fun. And, and it is. It's, it's thinking outside the box and having a lot of fun. And um, yeah, there's a lot of extra hours that uh, they get put into and a lot of thought. Um, but at, on the recipient end, when our school or our theater company or corporate event um, has these beautiful ornate costumes that are very authentic, um, it speaks volumes. It That's really does. beautiful. So if you have a corporate event, right, you can talk to Gina. What's the phone number? They can reach you out. The phone number. Yes. Is. The phone number. <laughs> yes. With my sexy it's, uh, voice. <laughs> yeah. No, it's 416-977-3113. Okay. Again. And that's 416-977-3113. That's so it. call Gina and she's going to help you with all your needs. All your you know, yeah, needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what is coming? Uh, Valentine's, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the, that's the next holiday. We have the Valentine's. Next we have Easter. Do you have, have any Purim. Cupid? Oh, we have a lot. <laughs> we Do have you have any Cupid for me? Oh, I'm sure we can find something for you, Carla. <laughs> for single, it was a little wings, you know, and a halo over here. Absolutely. To... Okay. And it would be our pleasure. Mm -hmm. So know. I'm going to be naked only with. <laughs> that will only be with wings. No. Yes. I'm oh kidding. You know, I'm not, gonna yes. do, I'm not gonna do that at all. <laughs> that will be embarrassing. But Gina, it's been a pleasure having you. Thank We're you. going to commercials and we're coming back because we have a lot to talk. Okay. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun, so come back. All Stick right. around. <laughs> Si quieres la mejor opción Sabemos que tu casa es tu mayor inversión Marcela Cano, Carlos Zuluaga Si quieres vender o comprar Tu 
casa es nuestra prioridad. Para mayor información, 647-297-0506 y 647-404-2171. Mi nombre es Mariana Santos y soy consultora de migración y refugio aquí en Canadá. En mi compañía se llama Santos y Associates Immigration Inc. Hacemos toda clase de documentación sobre inmigración. Llevamos a cabo refugios, razones humanitarias, visas de estudio, de trabajo, de turismo. Acérquese, consúltenos a nuestra oficina. Estamos siempre dispuestos para usted. Los espero aquí en Santos y Asociados en la esquina de Kirk y Wilson con una sonrisa para usted y para su familia. Muchas gracias. Gina Human Team. Hey, and we're back with Gina and Keith. <laughs> um, we're entertain, entertained behind the scenes. <laughs> and then, yeah, we were talking about that. What is beyond beauty? She was asking me what's the full concept. And at the beginning of the program, I always tell people that uh, the main idea of Beyond Beauty is to showcase what the what women has uh, to offer. Yes beyond their own beauty, right? Beyond that, beyond the, the face, the makeup, the hair, the, 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 the clothing they have. So they have something else to, to share, right? So like you said, resilience is one of the worlds that I learned last year. Oh, thank you. And something that I admire. Thank you. you, thank you. Because I know when I met you, I remember struggles always happen. Yes. And I remember I was like, oh God, struggling. I'm not afraid, I'm not ashamed to say it, right? Because people know me and people know, like six years ago, mm -hmm. let's say, I just mm -hmm. arrived to Toronto and mm -hmm. I just, I was recently divorced and it was like, oh my God, and you just had this uh, school of makeup and everything. And I'm like, oh my God. And we passed through many, many difficult many times. Many hurdles. Look at you. Well, thank you. you look at you. I, I, I admire that. Thank you. Because you know those 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 times hurt. You have scars from them. They do, but you scars learn, you learn from them. Their bad. experiences. It's and it's it's okay to fail because from failure you you find new new, new innovative beginnings. ways and new beginnings to start new things. Um, and you know while you're while you're going through that whole process, I think that's why you and I stay so connected. Because exactly. We're both very strong female entrepreneurs. Um, <laughs> so we sweet. really, we do. And we really, we, we, we put a lot of faith in what we do faith, exactly. and a lot of faith in, in people that we surround ourselves with that really support what we do. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's the belief system. I think, I think if, if I were to say there was anything that I really offer, um, it's the belief system that you can do anything that you put your mind to. That's um, true. you know, anything it's, it, it could be a very small little Small little something that to someone else means nothing, but um, it could just be walking on stage um, and, and looking at the audience for the first time. It could be um, wearing something that is you not in your have. comfort zone, uh -huh. that you've, you, you're, you know, you, you, you just, you're uncomfortable about your body. But when people come to us, we, we, we are so welcoming to all sizes and shapes, and we work so hard to make everyone feel happy. beautiful and happy inside and out, and to have a lot of fun through that, that whole process. I really um, like that, you know, because not every store works these days well well now with these movements of sensitivity and mm -hmm. uh, being aware of uh, that everybody's pretty no matter what the body you know yeah. so it's very pretty and it's very beautiful that you have this opportunity to offer to people to feel comfortable mm -hmm. if they go and they need a costume and said oh my god i'm not sure if i want to wear this but you make sure they can you we make do. sure they, they they could wear it with confidence, even Absolutely. though no matter what, no matter what the size, no matter what, how they feel, how, how they are. So this is inclusion. It's inclusion. It is. It is. And it's, it's about making people feel beautiful inside and out. Out. That's it. Inside That's the bottom out. line. That is the bottom line. And it's just, it's, it's the positivity. And, and people may say probably, oh, a costume is probably something fake. Mm -hmm. You know, people always said that. Like, for example, when I said and I do transformations with makeup, people say like, ah, but that's makeup. What yeah. are you going to do? It's makeup. Yeah. That's fake. Yeah. And I'm like, you no. know what? 
the thing is with makeup you can you can just transform souls as well absolutely i noticed that because sometimes people I, I touch lives i see clients when they tell me oh my god i have never worn this before mm -hmm. and when i see myself in the mirror i feel like transform and i feel like oh my god i'm pretty absolutely i didn't know that I was pretty. Absolutely. They didn't even know. And it's not nothing fake. I didn't put like extra tons of makeup. But it's a little change in their faces. You capture their uniqueness. Exactly. And, uniqueness. And, and they, they don't need to look like someone to, else. No. They don't need to show me a picture and say, hey, this is what I want to look like. Mm -hmm. No. I just see their faces and I'm like, okay, let's work with the face. Absolutely. Because you're pretty the way you are. Just enhance your beauty. And when they do it and they see their faces, I'm like, oh my God, this is beautiful. It is. It is beautiful. And we're all beautiful, Paula. Oh, come all on. Of us. Oh, I yes, know. we are. Oh, you are. Now, <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Well, you know, and it's, it's, um, it's the confidence too, you know, I think, uh, I think, um, I think it's a good thing to be, uh, really confident in who you are and, 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 um, and how you communicate with with uh, with with you know a variety of different uh, people and and artists and teachers and educators, um, and it's 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 to embrace their uniqueness. Mm -hmm. It's to uh, welcome their skills, um, and we all have different weaknesses and we have different strengths. And it's 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 all about collaboration. Collaboration, collaboration and, very and colla important. Yeah, it's very it's, important. It's, it's, it's collaborating together and making it. I really like this era in the sense that um, beauty is not a standard anymore. No. Beauty is not something that the men create and put at a Photoshop or in a billboard. Mm -hmm. It's not anymore. No, it's what you, you create. You could be who you are mm -hmm. and you're still beautiful. Absolutely. I really like that. You know how many girls are like feeling better about themselves? Absolutely. Like thinking, oh my God, the way I am, I'm pretty and I feel good. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, as you know, I have twin girls. I know. And, uh, hey, Georgia. Hey, hey Maggie, Maggie. If you're watching the show, <laughs> just hi. And you know, I've, I've, I've been a strong beacon of light, and they are, they are actually my beacon of light because of course I wanted, I wanted to, to instill a uniqueness in them. Um, you know, a personal strength that they can persevere and, and, and achieve anything that they put and their they mind to. And they are very strong girls. All and bad. they're independent and, and I love them for it. And that's, that's, that's my main mandate with, with everyone, with, with young adults, with, um, with teenagers, uh, with, you know, with, with anyone that you have an opportunity to cross paths with and network is, is to make people feel empowered, empowered. and special. Special. That's so, very important. Very important. It if that's is. your motto, that's why you're going to keep going and be successful forever. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so because much. Because you're very strong. I really admire Gina a lot. So we have some questions for you, Gina. Okay. So you're going to pick brushes. These are my makeup brushes. Okay. And she's going to pick questions from there. Oh, I didn't know that you were going to do this. <laughs> this is so exciting. Yes. Okay, well, I love purple, so I'm going to pick this one. And so that's, oh, the next, next project. project. Oh, <laughs> What's Gina's wow. next project? Well, uh, I have a couple of projects that are in the works. Really? One of them is a little, is, is a little confidential at the moment. But oh. I'm, my plan is, little... is to, is to build an empire uh, in Toronto and Canada in costuming. Um, to to create an even bigger warehouse of costumes uh, that are more affordable and accessible. Okay. Um, with the costumes, I, I would like to make it more three-dimensional. So it's not just about wearing a costume. I'd like to offer um, workshops, uh, costume design workshops, makeup wow. workshops, uh, fashion shows. So I have... Listen to that. Fashion of, shows. Yes. Makeup classes. What mm -hmm. else? Makeup classes. Costume design. Costume design classes. Um, and just just really the performing arts and just bringing all of it together. So you you, you want to be hub, like an incubator. An incubator. Incubator. A hub of, of, of so many different things. So, wow. so all of the performing arts under one umbrella. And, wow. uh, and I'm going to do it. 
Good for so you, Gina. I wish happen. you all the best. Thank you got you. this. You um, got this. Thanks. Oh my God. So listen to that. If you pay attention. So go. what's your website? So people could be, you know, Absolutely. stay tuned for mm -hmm. news. For new news, new, new projects news. that are happening. Um, website? It's, it's uh, theatricscostumehouse.com. Theatricscostumehouse.com. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like this. Yes. <laughs> So that's the next, that's exciting. It is. So that's in the works and uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay. Before we go to the next question, mm -hmm. we have our sponsor for tonight, which is Be Unique Salon. So besides that he's our sponsor, we have here a gift certificate that somebody's going to oh. win for next Monday. So what is this including, Anna? So Be Unique Beauty Launch oh, is giving it? us a haircut. Is giving us a milkshake treatment, beauty, which is like a treatment for the hair. And the value of these is like $250. Oh, so, ha -ha. so we are promoting our sponsor, which is Be Unique Salon. It's located in Vaughn, right? So we're going to uh, see the address over here. What's the address, Anna? Good question. <laughs> What's the address? I got it here. So there you go. We have the address for B Unique Salon. Pay attention to this. It's 3590 Rutherford Road Unit 1 and 2. It is a huge salon. It's in Vaughn. So, yeah, the phone number is 647 459 2883. People so, have to follow the Instagram. Oh, perfect. So the instructions to win this certificate is you have to participate. Okay. Is that you have to go to their page, which mm -hmm. is Instagram page. Instagram. It's at be unique, beauty. right? Be beauty. Be, be, be unique beauty. beauty. Okay, perfect. So they have to follow and they have to comment. They, no, they have to follow and they have to send us a picture. Perfect. Ah. So when it's you so follow, you have to screenshot it and send it to to in linea, those yeah. in linea. You have to send it to us and then you're going to track who's following the page and then we're going to announce the winner next Monday. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so exciting. You can participate, Gina. Okay, I will. So follow them. I will. <laughs> I will for sure. So also we want to announce our first master class, first makeup master class at Be Unique. This is going to be Thursday, February 13, 6 p.m. Okay, so pay attention because it's going to be amazing. We're going to have gifts. We're going to have raffles. We're going to have food and a wow. lot of things going on there. So be unique. Follow them and stay tuned for more. Okay. So let's continue with your questions, Gina. Okay. <laughs> pick another one. Pick another one. Okay, well, I'll pick the smallest one. Oh, that's I have. Oh, okay. I picked the wrong one. Okay. Okay. Another one. Um, okay, this one. Oh, that's a good one. What's the biggest challenge you the have? The biggest challenge. Hmm. In life. In life. I know we have a lot always, but the biggest, the one that you feel like, oh my God, that was the one. That almost killed me, but I am here. Well, I'd say the biggest, the biggest challenge in my personal life, and then I'll talk about the biggest challenge in my professional life okay, because they're both perfect. really different. <clears throat> I think the biggest challenge is um, in my personal life. Is sometimes people would say that I'm I'm overly positive. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, um, um, and I, I need know, to be positive. And, and that I'm not that that you know. Sometimes I don't see things for what they are. So it's, it's, it, for me, it's, um, it's a balancing act. It's a balancing mm. act of, of being practical, but also having the dream as well and being able to, to, to sort of integrate both. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, I think uh, it's, it's, I would say the biggest challenge is you, you yourself want to be authentic. You always want to be yourself. Um, and so I, I would say not the biggest challenge, but I would say the most important thing is always be true, always be yourself. 
um, and listen to your gut. Listen to your mm -hmm. your your uh, your gut, and and that will usually lead you in the right direction. So I think the biggest challenge, too, on a personal level, is sometimes we get so distracted by so many things that happen in our in and around our world that we. We sometimes, we don't want to listen. Sometimes we're blinded oh. to listening to that little voice inside of us that tells us which direction that we need to go into. And we avoid that. And to avoid it. So, and sometimes when you're overly positive, like <laughs> me, sometimes you just don't want to see the truth. Oh. Sometimes you don't want to see what is in you front of cover. you. And you cover it. So I think it's taking sometimes the blinds away seeing things a little more clarity with some clarity but but you know keeping things real and intact but always also having that fun um fun part of life i think that's that's really really important you try to weave that fun part of your mm -hmm. of your life and living in the moment as much as you can and really enjoying life you know just enjoying that's every beautiful. moment that's beautiful so yeah thanks gina for sharing well, you're welcome <laughs> my big challenge if that's already the one that's it uh, no for oh, the for, for the, the business for yeah. the business is is con is 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 um staying on track with things that are cha ever changing um industry so, is changing every you know, industry they're just evolving evolving and, and changing and there was a, a time period where theatrics costume house um also had a very large showroom and we had a vast amount of retail stock um and we just we couldn't keep up with the market we couldn't keep up with all the dollar stores the value villages the pop-up halloween shops wow. and so it was fine-tuning things and saying okay what is it that we do really well uh who do we who do we really want to speak to who do we want to create who's our something? target who's right our, who's our, our target and just you know just coming up with new business plans redefining who we are um, that's been really the biggest challenge, but I think we're in a really good, good time spot right now. I see and, that. Uh, I I'm can happy see that. that I stuck through. I it. really like that you continuously uh, look further, look forward mm -hmm. to to evolve. Yes. In your business, because you love it. I do. And you don't want to throw it. Like, I don't. Oh my God! I don't. So many years invested. So many, you know, hours hard work yes just to say oh you know what just leave it give it give up on it no uh -huh. I, I won't give up on it but i think it's the challenge is really taking the time to listen and watch and observe and see observe. all of the changes that are happening try you know and to try just just do your best just do your best and have a and have i always say always have the right people on your bus you yes. have the right people on your bus you can drive that bus anywhere um and you can work together through all the changes that's true so you got the right I got people. a good bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's already answered. And then last two. Last two. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, your best quality. Yes. What's well, your best quality? I would say, um, and I mean, I'm trying to be humble here. <laughs> I'm the best, you know. You're like I'm the best, but I want to be humble. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's my personal strength. You know, we we all we all have different challenges and different mm -hmm. experiences. You know, um, that we're faced with in, in our life and on a personal level and a professional level. I think it's my my personal strength, my perseverance to to see the light, wow. to find the light. To work through it, I have. I'm a very spiritual person, and I, I just I really really try to work through things and find find something that uh, and a new experience or a new direction or a new path that's gonna open another door for me. So I say, uh, thank you. I say that would be my, <laughs> my good quality. That's your good quality. That's good. So the last one, we okay. have five minutes. All so. right. My biggest fear. Oh, I have a lot of fears. <laughs> One of them is driving <laughs> to places that I haven't been to. I know. You drove? Yeah. Um, I, I took an Uber here. <laughs> Listen to her. That's the biggest fear. I, I you know, you can put me in, in, in front of a crowd of a million people. and I'm I, not, I, You're I, not going to feel anything. Nothing. You're just, it's just, it's, it's, yeah, it's that's beautiful. your nature. It's, it's my nature, but, you know, at, driving. It's, it's the anxiety of of driving somewhere that I haven't been, but I'm working on it and I'm putting on my GPS. 
and I'm going for it. And I'm a new driver, so you know it's it's, new it's a new driver, thing. Gina. Well, well, okay, maybe six Gina? or seven or eight years ago, but <laughs> I consider that. Um, my other biggest fear, um, I don't really, I don't really have them. I think, uh, like, I live in the moment. Uh, I, I would say maybe my biggest fear too is to really think where I'd like to be two years from now, five mm -hmm. years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. And I think, I think you need to face your fears. I think you need okay. to, to, to face them and, and be practical and real about it and, 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 you know, and write your thoughts down and say, what, what can I, how can I reach my goals two years from now? That's how true. can I reach my goals five years from now? How can I reach my goals 10 years from now? So I would, I would definitely say that's, yeah, it's definitely a fear for some people. And what else am I afraid of? Hmm, not much. <laughs> because I'll bold. find I'll find a way out. I'll find yeah. a, I'll find a way around it. But um, you always look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you look you. younger every time. <laughs> oh, I know. That's a good thing. Good jeans. Well, thank you. Thank you. I well, am. so we are coming to the end, and we really had fun, Gina, having you. you tonight. I really, really, really appreciate that you came and we learned a lot of things from you in your school, the theatrics costume house, and we are very happy we're going to visit you. Oh, we. I'm what so do you think about to... Anna? The... Visit the store one time and have a little video, we'll and, you know? Yeah, sure. We have to go. And <laughs> yeah. we have to get dressed and stuff. Absolutely. Why not? I'll take care of you. It'll be an amazing experience. <laughs> he could be a king, yes. he could be the queen, I will be oh, yes. whatever. Absolutely. And that's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a fun trip. Yeah, sure. Right? It, yeah. Will. Yeah. it would be a, it would be a pleasure. It'll be a pleasure to have you all come down so I can outfit you in something that you you thought you would never put on. Yeah. Me. Well, I'll take care of it. <laughs> 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 I need a big thing. Oh, no, we'll, we'll I need make a it work. Oh, we'll make it work. <laughs> I need to have this voice. Oh. You know, tight. oh, thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you so much. We're having fun with Gina. We don't thank want you. to let her go. But unfortunately, you see an hour pass like flying. Look, I know, it's Serena. Amazing. And we are here. We're still here and we still want to talk to you. So thank you so much, Gina. And thank you, Paula. Thank you so much for inviting me. And I it's really always a pleasure being around you. Always thank a you. pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much, guys. <laughs> so don't forget uh, my last uh, announcement for being unique, our sponsor. So don't forget, next um, masterclass is going to be Thursday, February 13, 6 p.m. And don't forget, you can call them. This is going to be the number. Call them to register for the masterclass. It's going to be 647-459-2883. So, and I think we have uh, the address on the screen, yeah. right? So, and <laughs> also follow them on Instagram. Be unique, beauty. <laughs> Am I right? Yes, yes. Be unique, beauty. Follow them, screenshot it, send it to us, and you're going to participate to win this amazing $250 wow. value. And then I'm going to tell you last time, what is uh, the, or you're going to get a haircut if you need it. It's going to be a milkshake treatment, which is a treatment for your hair, and blow dry. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So get it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It is. Don't forget. So let's come back for next Monday. Love you all. <laughs> Por eso ustedes y nosotros somos dos en línea. Dos en línea TV, la nueva propuesta de radio digital. Dos en línea TV, tu nueva opción en radio online. Síguenos en redes sociales como Dos en línea TV. Porque dos es mejor que uno. Por eso ustedes y nosotros somos dos en línea. Dos en línea TV, la nueva propuesta de radio digital.